welcome back everyone to the bigger and better cruise first tv with derek and polly and don't forget you can join us now on sky 681 right up to 10 p.m every single day never an excuse to miss a cruise fix absolutely and like hunger pangs they can strike at any time now this show we are getting you away with pno cruises and focusing on the travel you can clock up without having to check into an airport many people don't fly or they prefer not to or just prefer cruising closer to home so let's showcase the very best right sounds like a challenge accepted Later then, an escape to some winter sun on Iona, heading to Madeira, the Canaries, Spain and Portugal. Or maybe you'd like something altogether bigger. Well, how about a 75-night South America and Caribbean Grand Tour with p Cruises for the start of next year? Again, airport free. You're looking forward to that one, aren't you? There's <laughs> lots of lovely new ports that we've never been to before on that one. It does sound like bliss. And talking of the Caribbean, our first offer is taking us there on fabulous Iona such a popular ship with rave reviews and on the 11th of January next year she can take you to the Caribbean over 35 blissful nights so we'll have a little butcher's hook as they say a little look around beautiful Iona of what your home is going to be 35 nights no, you get Goodness used to that yes gracious me do you think you could feel at home on board this cruise ship yes. oh yes you <laughs> could look at that beautiful polished marble floors all those little places to escape and have a private little coffee absolutely gorgeous and and there's just so much on offer for everyone on these ships did you know that bottle of wine that we just saw there the beef steak melt it's one of my favourites there. You see it in a lot of the supermarkets, don't you? And it's very, very nice indeed. Very full-bodied, responsibly, one at a time, of course. Um, Iona just has so much to offer. I mean, the way P&O do cruising is brilliant for us because, of course, you know, it's kind of it kind of feels like P&O's our cruise line, do you know what I mean? Yes. And so it's kind of designed and suited for us. Very smart very upscale and yet very casual and comfortable. They strike the balance just beautifully. And I think what's lovely about Iona is it has adults only areas, adults only restaurants, bars. And I think that is really important. Like when you're going on holiday, you don't have children. Do you want to see anyone else's? Well, you know what? I, I don't really mind don't, at oh, all, see? but it doesn't really bother yeah. me at all. But see, if I manage to get a cheeky week away with a husband, I don't want to see any without the kids. I don't want to see anyone else's. Well, so I think that's a really nice feature for yeah. the ship. And of course, there's plenty of places for the kids it's to be and activities so many for places. them as well. But I think, actually, I th in general, and I am generalising here, but I think kids have a very different kind of way of being when they're on a cruise ship because they're so blown away because it's something like they've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Such a different type of holiday. There is so much for them to do as well. Oh my goodness, I the think, kids clubs are amazing. And I think because everyone is in a good place on a cruise, it's safe, it's comfortable, you know, everything's within arm's reach. I just think there's a very different vibe than if you were you know, in a holiday resort type of thing, maybe here in the UK. It's a very different feel. That's a really good point. Oh, we're just looking there at the entertainment. I mean, you've got so many evenings, you can do something different. Whether you want to go to the cinema, whether you want to see an incredible show, experience some music, or just have a quiet evening in your cabin and sort of have dinner in your cabin, that might be something you want to do as well. However you want to spend your evenings, you've got to remember it's your holiday. You don't have to kind of be told what to do and when to do it. It is at your pace. And remember, on this itinerary, you've got plenty of evenings because we are talking about a 35 night cruise plenty of time to enjoy the ship as well on this because you've got nice periods of sea days where you really get to relax and enjoy what remember is a holiday but we're holidaying out to the Caribbean from here in the UK yeah, so you start in Southampton and cruise to Tenerife where you have your first port of call. Uh, you've got Tidy National Park there where you can actually go and climb Mount Tidy if you want. Uh, the volcano, very famous as well. If you want something more exhilarating, Siam Water Park might be quite exciting as well. A few days at sea to really enjoy that gorgeous cruise ship and arriving in Tortola. Now, just five minutes walk from the tender drop-off is Main Street. You've got colourful crafts markets, speciality shops there as 
well. It's amazing. A day at sea, you'll arrive in Barbados in Bridgetown, where you've got an overnight on board in port. It's a trove of architectural and cultural treasures, which I didn't expect. I just think all oh, beaches and water sports, but it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site as well. You've got the Georgian St. Mary's Church while you're there as well, the Neo-Gothic Barbados Parliament as well, and the garrison. On to Castries in St. Lucia, which is amazing. I've been there and I headed out to the rainforest and went zip lining through the rainforest. Wow. It was amazing. If you want something more relaxing, of course, it's the Caribbean. You've got amazing beaches while you're there as well. Grenada is next. Now, this is such a beautiful island because it's filled with spice trees, which is a leading source of many different spices, nutmeg, cloves, ginger, cinnamon, cocoa. So you can imagine the incredible scents while you're there as well. And you can take a spicy island tour if you want to. A day at sea arriving in Antigua, where it's just beautiful. It's beach, 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 beach while you're there. So you can swim and snorkel with gentle stingrays. You can even feed and pet them as well. You can snorkel the coral reefs, which believe you me, are just out of this world. Arriving in St. Kitts next, which has got kind of two sides to it. It's got a bit of French, it's got a bit of English colonial architecture there as well. Of course, it's this part of the world. So the weather's amazing and you've just got breathtaking beaches as well, but also lush, beautiful landscapes. On to St. Martin, uh, split between France, which is St. Martin, the north side, and then the Netherlands, which is St. Martin, which is the south side. So you can tour the French capital um, if you'd like to as well. The quaint streets and cafes as well in the open air market. A few days at sea, you'll arrive into Tenerife. Of course, we've said there you've got Mount Tidy as well. And, the, and as I was saying about because of the volcano, there's a natural lava stone formation that's also known as God's Finger, which is well worth a visit. Uh -huh. A few days at sea, you'll arrive in La Coruña. Now admire the rich Gallican heritage and history here. You've got the Tower of Hercules alongside a collection of small but immaculate bays and gorgeous soft sand beaches. Just amazing. A day at sea, you've been to all these places and you arrive back into Southampton. I can't quite believe that you have the itinerary without going through an airport. It's brilliant. I know, it's brilliant. And on this one, uh, you leave on the 11th of January and you get back the day after Valentine's Day because that last day at sea is Valentine's Day. So I imagine that the speciality dining on board is going to be quite busy that night. So I would definitely make sure you get that booked up nice and soon. Um, this is wonderful. I think this is going to be couples paradise, to be honest with you. I really do. I just think this is going to be that nice little getaway, nice way to start a new year, sailing away from the UK, plenty of sea days as you go across the pond to the Caribbean. You've got trips to the Canaries there as well, all over 35 amazing nights. No gratuities to pay, of course. They are included in your price tag and we can get a low deposit on this today. So if you want to snap up the deal, today's deposit starts from just £210 per person, which means that your price tag for this 35 incredible nights from the 11th of January to the 15th of February. Oh, imagine. You know what January's like. It feels like there's about 162 days in January. Well, when you're away on this holiday for next year, January is going to have an altogether very, very different feel. And by the time you get home again, hopefully with some nice warm Caribbean colour, you know what? It's halfway through February. Amazing. Now, with this deal as well, we've got a little bit of a promotion going on right now that if you book the classic drinks package when you're booking your cruise right now, you'll get a 20% discount on the package when you book with the team, which is amazing. Again, talk to the team. You've got the number on the screen there. There is another date for the uh, itinerary as well, 3rd of January in 2026. So if you want to make plans for the year after, guess what? You can do that today as well uh, with a low deposit. Now, if you want to upgrade on Iona up to an ocean view or balcony or beyond, let's have a look at the prices there. Remember, this is a 35 night cruise. Now, I know I keep saying that slowly and very, very concentratedly, if that's a word. Sounds like a good word, doesn't it? Uh, sounds <laughs> like it it's would word. get you a good score in Scrabble, wouldn't you? It's got two C's <laughs> in it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm saying that deliberately and emphasising it because 35 nights is one heck of a cruise. So when you look at your upgrade prices, Divide those by the 35 nights that the cruise is, and then you'll see the real value of this. Low deposit today to get it secured. This is the price for the 11th of January in 2025, but you can also book now for the 3rd of January in 2026. Now, if you want to know the price for that, 
Call the team right now. It is brilliant, brilliant value for money. And I feel like we've just warmed up the show nicely there um, <laughs> because offer number one there was for 35 nights. Well, let's double that and some now on P&O Cruises Aurora and taking a 75 night trip this time from the UK to South America and the Caribbean on a grand tour. Grand tour doesn't really say it here. Uh, now this all starts again, coincidentally, 3rd of January in 2026 down in Southampton. And here she is, adults only, Aurora. And she is so, so popular. She does a lot of the long distance um, cruising for P&O Cruises shows. She is just perfect for the Explorer, Polly. Perfect for the 75 night, absolutely epic extravaganza of a holiday, just fabulous. I mean, she went over a big refit in 2019, so feeling very new, very, very modern. I mean, the restaurants on board are absolutely gorgeous. We're just having oh, a snapshot of the food, some real delicious uh, specialty dining. Uh, you've got two main dining rooms, the Medina and the Alexandra restaurant. Then you've got the Horizon restaurant, which is more relaxed uh, with buffet food as well. Then you've got the the glass house restaurant as well did oh lots of lovely wines on offer there Sindhu, which obviously we saw before as well on the, the other uh, oh wonderful as well just amazing flavor of the east oh my goodness me i mean when it comes to cruising and especially a holiday this long like food is a big part of it Massive. i mean i know <laughs> that's like what people love about cruising no it's true it's, it's got to be a big choice it's got to be good food as well i mean you know that's what you expect it's a long time away but there's so much more going on as well. You've got shopping, you've got activities. Be look at that, a beautiful library on board as well. I mean, what more could you want? So it's a no fly, so you're cruising out of Southampton. Wonderful, a few days at sea, and you arrive in the Canary Islands, Grand Canaria. I think when you're there, go and take a tour of the Arucas Rum Distillery. It was established in 1884, all the history. A couple of days at sea and arriving in Cape Verde. Now, you want to take a trip to the Darkview Falls. It's a beautiful waterfall nestled in the luscious rainforest as well well you can enjoy a lovely swim in the natural pool at the base of it as well across the atlantic now and arriving in brazil wow go and explore the historic district of recife antigua wow you've got colorful colonial architecture while you're there historic churches charming streets marco zero square just incredible a day at sea and then you're going to be in salvador now ride the elevador la queda it's a historic elevator connecting the upper and lower parts of salvador and then once you're at the top panoramic views of the All Saints Bay. A couple of days at sea and you're in Buzwa. Now there's a lot of gorgeous beaches here so it's definitely time to enjoy the weather, relax on Ossos Beach which is one of the quieter and picturesque beaches in the area as well. A great place for a lovely peaceful day by the sea. Next we've got an overnight on board in port at Rio de Janeiro. Amazing to take in such an iconic place in the day and then see it transform in the evening as well. Of course you want to visit the iconic Christ the Redeemer statue while you're there, don't you? I mean, that picture looks amazing. If you could oh, just get that rainbow while you're there as the well. The Iguazu Falls yeah. are amazing. Amazing. Staying in Brazil, make sure in Sanos. Now, if you're a bit of a football enthusiast, the Football Museum is here. And it's kind of major because it's all about kind of how important football is to Brazilian culture, uh, which it is its cultural impact. A couple of days at sea, arriving in Montevideo in Uruguay, where you've got an overnight boarding port here. Now, if you can, attend a performance at the Teatro Solis. It's one of the oldest and most prestigious theatres in Uruguay. The building itself is just an architectural building gem i think you will have the best time there a couple of days at sea and you will arrive in the falkland islands port stanley now explore christ church cathedral it's known for its iconic whale bone arch it's made from the jaw bones of two blue whales wow climb to the top of the tower and of course panoramic views while you're there Day at sea, and then we've got some lovely places cruising by Cape Horn, Beagle Chanel, Magellan Straits, Punta Serras. We arrive then next. Amazing. A boat excursion here is to Isla Magdalena to visit the penguin colony. A few cruise bys, Emilia Glacia, Pio, a few days at sea, arriving in Chile, Santa Antonia. Visit the sculpture park here. It's just amazing. It's an open air space, an art space with sculptures and installations by various artists. It sounds lovely. It combines art with the natural beauty of the coast. A day at sea arriving in 
Coquimbo. Visit El Faro Monumental. It's a large lighthouse. It's an iconic symbol of the area. Climb to the top, see those amazing views of the city, but out into the Pacific Ocean as well. A couple of days at sea, arriving in Arica. Now here you can discover La Lizera Architectural Museum. Oh my goodness, the exhibits here come from like all over and you can actually see the oldest mummification in the world as well. Wow, that sounds special. A day at sea arriving in Cuyao, which is the port for Lima in Peru. Explore the real Felipe Fortress, a historic military structure. Just amazing. It played quite a significant role in Peru's history. And because you're there as well overnight, you get to see the, the place like it does transform in the evening. I always think a city's different uh, by evening. Two days at sea, arriving in Ecuador. I've just got that song in my head. Ecuador. <laughs> uh, take a day trip to the Pukaki, uh Wildlife Reserve. It's very nearby. It's a reserve. Uh, gosh, it's home to flora, fauna. You've got howler monkeys, iguanas. A day at sea, then it's Pan Panama. Wow, Panama City. Amazing. You've got to do a day tour here, do some monkey watching while you're there as well. It's just one of those places, isn't it? Wow, I've been to Panama. Amazing, all that place. Now, after that, you are then going to transit the Panama Canal. And again, it's quite iconic. It's a marvel of engineering and it connects the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, which is why it's so famous. A day at sea and arriving in Colombia. It's just amazing, isn't it? I'm I know. like, is this real? Pinch me. <laughs> you will just have um, the best time while you're there. So much to see and of course it's just beautiful weather as well all these places all these trips in the sunshine a day at sea arriving in aruba i mean there's so much history here you've got nature preservation as well the aruba butterfly farm is well worth a visit just so beautiful the colors and the national archaeological museum to a day at sea arriving in Grenada. Explore the Annandale Falls, which is a stunning waterfall. It's in the interior of the island, but you can swim in the natural pool at the base of the waterfalls. I don't know, there's something just about waterfalls that are so magical. It's, and this is a magical holiday, isn't it? Barbados next, Bridgetown, just so much going on here. You've got the Georgian St. Mary's Church, the garrison, which was one, once home to 15,000 British troops, which is still largely intact and in use. Uh, the parade ground there is amazing. It's used as a horse racing track now. Uh, on to St. Lucia, uh, which is a Castries, Browse Point Seraphine. You've got amazing shopping there, duty-free goods. Uh, the market is really colorful as well if you want some native spices and some handmade crafts. A day at sea arriving in Antigua. Beaches galore. In fact, there's 375 while you're there. Shirley Heights is well worth a visit. You've got panoramic views of English Harbour and Falmouth Harbour and you can see steel bands playing on their drums while you're there. The sounds are amazing. On to St Martin. Relax now on Orient Bay <laughs> Beach. It's one of the most famous and picturesque beaches on the island. Enjoy those white, enjoy those white sands, those crystal clear waters and of course all the beautiful water sports as well crossing the atlantic on the way home stopping at ponta delgada in portugal nicknamed the green island you can wonder why of course it's got lush natural wonders 16th century architecture as the wear and you might see some whales and dolphins while you're in the area a few days at sea arriving back to southampton Goodness <laughs> gracious me. Okay, Polly, you can breathe now. Well done. Ooh. Well <laughs> done, you. Honestly, because this is, it's funny, uh, again, this starts on the 3rd of January. Do you know the date that you get home? The 19th of March. Oh my God. I, I just looked it up on the website. I had to, because I was like, oh my word, can you imagine wiping the whole of January and February? And the lion's share of March, blocking that out of your diary, I am out of here. I, I can am, imagine that. I Derek, I'm sorry. Metaphorically off the grid for 75 incredible nights. It kind of feels like a world cruise opportunity, this, doesn't it? I mean, it's really, really good. I love this. Um, for those of you who want to travel, but you also want that lovely balance of relaxation to enjoy the ship, to be horizontal, to have a holiday, to read those books, just just to live, live your best life, don't they say? Well, you can do that on a cruise in a way that you really can't on another holiday. Regular holidays, they require quite a lot of effort. You've kind of got to arrange, what are we going to do today, making all the arrangements and doing all the research and everything else. 
Polly's given you a snapshot of all the places that we're going to here. And remember, P&O Cruises are going to do the rest of the work for you as well, because don't think that you need to be arranging things for all of these different destinations. There are optional, completely optional, um, shore excursions for you to book up and enjoy in all of these incredible places. Believe you me, P&O Cruises have been there many times before as well. And Aurora is so well suited to this kind of world travel. Um, you are gonna have an amazing time. Now, you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. I'm a mind reader sometimes. You're thinking he's waffling because he's about to hit us with 20 grand each. I'm not, I promise you. The reason we're looking at this right now, one, is because it's a massive holiday. It's brilliant, so it needs some planning for. It's for the start of 2026. So first of all, I'll talk about low deposits. Today, you can make this happen and put it in the diary today with a deposit starting from just £615 per person, which is incredible. Now, if I said to you, I found this holiday, you go at the beginning of January, you come back late March, you'd be thinking, right, OK, I'm never going to be able to do that. I'm never going to have the budget for that kind of thing. Let me show you the price tag and then we'll, we'll think again, shall we? Because that is 75 nights of cruising. Now, you can get your calculator out and you will work out the price per night and work out just how exceptional value for money that is right now. I am telling you, for that duration, for that wonderful opportunity, I don't think you're going to find better in terms of value for money for, what do they say in the business world? They say return on investment. So what do I get back for that spend? You get over two and a half months worth of the most amazing destinations there are on earth. And if you book the classic drinks package um, on top of this, when you book your cruise, right now you'll get a 20% discount with our team. Talk to our team book your classic drinks if that's what you want to do while you book the cruise and you'll get a 20% discount right now. Again, as I said, low deposit from as little as, what was it, £615 per person, I think the deposit was on this one. Um, it's phenomenal. So we can get this in the diary right now. Now, you might well want to think of upgrades on board. So let's have a look at those going up for you to Ocean View, uh, to Balcony and to Suite. Now, they all look like big and considered numbers, but consider this. Divide each one of those by 75, because that would be the price extra per night. I mean, honestly, and then you will justify whether you want to or not. It is incredible. Hang on a minute. Look at that solo price as well. Now, if you're thinking, hey, this is perfect. This is just what I'm looking for right now. That solo price, I mean, normally with a solo price in the world of travel full stop, let alone cruise, you know, you're usually looking at doubling your price tag because, you know, one person taking up the space of two people obviously has to pay more. Normally that's more than double when you're traveling anywhere in any way. Look at that price. That's really favorable as a solo price, isn't it? Ah, oh, amazing. Call us right now. It's a free call, remember, and we are open to talk to seven days a week. And there's no booking fee either at all. So talk to our team. Even if you've just got a question, pick up the phone, answer the question seven days a week into the evening you can call us as well amazing amazing next then it's time for something closer now and when winter reappears in november lots of people want to head away for some sunshine well that's exactly what ping o cruises i own will be doing on the 9th of november having two weeks of sunshine so let's get on board again Oh, yes, look at that. I mean, I've just been thinking, so I'm feeling a little bit peckish at all the <laughs> restaurants that there are on board. Eight speciality restaurants. Wonderful. So that doesn't mean speciality. You've obviously got main dining and buffet as well. Mm -hmm. Amazing. 12 different bars, 13 different entertainment venues, four pools and 16 whirlpools. Oh, my goodness Lovely. gracious me. And so two weeks of sunshine cruising. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Just lovely. Madeira. Cruising out Southampton, arriving in Madeira. It's a lovely little market town. You've got locally made wicker furniture, lacework, tapestries. Ooh, lots of lovely good buys that you can get there. And, of course, Madeira wine. Uh, next, it's Tenerife there as well. Home to Spain's highest peak, Mount Tidy. You can take a cable car, cable car even to the top and get those amazing panoramic views all around. On to the Canary Islands. 
Gran Canaria, you can explore the Dunus de Maspalonis, which is a vast expanse of sand dunes near Maspalonis. So walk, enjoy a walk or a camel ride as well while you're there through the dunes. Amazing, especially at sunset. And they're massive as well. Oh, huge. On to Lanzarote. Oh, just all this sunshine. It's lovely. Here, you can explore Cueva de los Verdes, which again, it's all about volcanoes, a lava tube formed by volcanic activity. Now, you can take a guided tour. You can learn about the geological history or you can just lie on a beach i'm just giving you ideas a day at sea arriving in cadiz for seville in spain explore the castle of san sebastian located at the end of la caleta beach it's amazing the castle has got so much history and beautiful views of the city next we've got an overnight on board in port in portugal Explore the Bellum Tower, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, an iconic fortress that once guarded the entrance to the city's harbour as well. While you're there, you have to try the city's famous custard tarts as well. A couple of days at sea, cruising back to Southampton. Ooh, pasta del nato. I can taste it now. Oh, you know what I was talking we about. Are, yeah, we're, we are coming up to lunchtime. <laughs> I just said custard tarts. I didn't give the oh, name, but you they, know are they are incredible. Right, listen, this is an easy one, and I've got so many pluses to add to this as well. Two weeks in search of the sun to and from Southampton for the 9th of November. Deposit today from just £90 per person. Price tag, oh you wait for this, this is so so good. Um, just 889 per person for two weeks of Spain, Portugal and Canary and Sunshine, fantastic. And if you want to go up to Balcony on this one, how about you just pay the Ocean V price and we upgrade you again to the balcony. Let's have a look at the price tag for that then, shall we? That's amazing. So an extra 269 and uh, you pay an ocean view price, but we upgrade you again to a balcony. It's not a mistake, it's absolutely there. In fact, for an extra 889, um, you could go for a suite. That would be amazing. Book your classic drinks when you talk to the team and book your cruise as well, and you'll get a 20% discount right now. So take the make the most of that. It's absolutely brilliant and it's well worth doing, it really is. Um, that is superb, let me tell you. I mean, that's the perfect time of year to go and seek some sunshine. We're all getting a little bit, ooh, it's dark, it's cold, the clocks have gone and all of that kind of stuff in November. Remember, remember November <laughs> and just how dark and, and ooh, you know, uh, uh, you've done Halloween, but it's not the Christmas period. And you're going to some lovely little places where you might get some really nice Christmas gifts as well while you're away. Oh, true. So, you know, yeah. some sort of from the markets, maybe some Madeira wine, as I said. But, yes. you know, you can you can bring some lovely things back, wouldn't you? Yeah, you, well, you could. Do your Christmas shopping while you're there or on board the cruise ship, maybe, because the shops yeah. on board are amazing. Yes, and the duty free as well. Of course. Wow, Which is so always yeah. helpful, isn't it? So we're saving you money. <laughs> That's so good, isn't it? Now, listen, we've shown you, what, three offers in that show, all humdingers, you know, big, <laughs> small and everything in between. There are thousands more. Every P&O cruise ship, every itinerary, all on our website right now at cruisefirst.tv. And you will be spoilt for choice. But the best thing to do, I always think when searching for a cruise, go and have a little look on the website, have a little scout around, see what you fancy, pick a deal, Book it on the website if you want to there and then if you think, well, no time like the present. But that's the time, I think, to then say, pick up the phone, talk to the team, have a chat with them, because there might be something else over there that's even better and they'll find it for you. Exactly, so all you need to do is get in touch with us because we want to help you. We want to help you find the most amazing, incredible holiday. Yeah, we do, right. We're going to recover after a 75 night <laughs> itinerary uh, and we will leave you and we'll see you back here soon. Bye.